Testing, testing, one, two, three. Okay, okay. I'm going to go and start from the beginning this time instead of having the whole. Uh, having the flight already loaded up. So I'll kind of go over the briefing in the first part of the video. So this will be Air Wisconsin Flight 4113 from Richmond, Virginia to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And our alternative will be JFK International. Uh, we want a CRJ-200. Let's see, passenger... I don't know if it gives us passenger or not. It should. But I don't think so with Virtual American. So we might just leave it at auto. So load flight looking dispatch passenger on four board forty six. Okay. So forty six. Oh. Four shy of a full flight. Uh zero fuel weight. Uh da, da, da. I'm gonna go with luggage weight. Cause total packs weight. That'd be ten point three. Yeah, let me do that. Because you'd think passengers would be counted for passengers, like the weight. It's 200 per passenger. Weird. I don't know. Anyway. So I'll just put uh, total packs weight, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Um, Alright. Cruising altitude. This shouldn't be a long flight. This is only going to be like a... S says about an hour flight, but really it's going to be like, I'd say, 40 minute flight. Um, so, let's see, Neod Sweden, we're going to follow that. So, north, east, north and east are odd, uh, south and west are even altitudes. So, we're going north, so we want odd. So, since it's going to be a short flight, I'm going to go 1700. And it's gonna be it's not gonna be that far, so I'm not gonna bother uh going above eighteen thousand feet. Call me weird, I don't care. <laughs> um altitude is gonna be uh one seven thousand. I kinda want a good cruise time as well, so uh let's see here. And OFP layout will be uh AAL and go ahead and find the route. Okay, and there's our route. So it looks like we'll be kind of avoiding Washington, which is good. Uh, so we'd be going up over Richmond, then we go over the uh, Pot Potomac, right? Is it Potomac or Potomac? Yeah, Potomac. Okay. Chesapeake. It won't tell me, will it? Pretty sure it's Potomac. And we're going over here. Over Delaware. Just northwest of Dover. Okay, that's good. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, there's one the wrong way that goes in our favor, is there? Well, except for the one that's close to the terminals. But that's it. Okay, let's go with that. And pa 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 pa. Journey OFP. Yes. So we got cargo, passengers, call sign, all that good jazz. That's all in there. Yep. So yeah, that gives us a pretty good cruise time. I like that. I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> Two four zero, you go up to cruise and already you'd be starting for descent. The way that this wants to put you at. So, I'm pretty happy with that. Download. And, Richmond to Philly. 
And let me go ahead and put stuff in the flight sim right now. So there's our aircraft. We're going to go with the US Airways old library. Because uh, we're going to be Philadelphia. And I don't know why, but I feel like Philadelphia has the older libraries. Anyway. So user defaults. Let me get the METAR injector. Okay, it's connected. Awesome. Uh, departure time will be uh, 11.35. So we're going to go 11.20. Uh, 15 minutes prior to departure. Uh, flight planner load from Richmond. So where is it? There it is. Richmond to Philly. And let's check our parking gate. So if I go, I don't know if I have my old flights on here, so I have to go here and here and logbook. And I don't know why this is still pending. Um, I guess someone's not checking them. Gate Alpha 6 is where we arrived at, so we will be departing from Alpha 6. So. KRAC. So gate alpha six right there. And then here are our intersections. So do 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 let me get this. Bam. So cruising altitude will be uh seventeen thousand feet. I was about to say seventeen hundred feet. Uh so K R I C uh Lucille and then PXT and then Gerd then hedge, and then canny, and then hoagie, and then pats, and then kphl. Awesome. And who? Oh, hello, Dan. All right. Um, boom, 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 boom. I don't even know. <laughs> uh, okay, that looks good. Over at these file, yes, yes. And we'll go ahead and. Yeah, I don't want to export that as a computer up, so I'm just going to copy. And we're going to go to Project Fly here. And we're going to go to Fleet. I get the registration off that aircraft too, so we're going to add aircraft. Uh, this will be a CRJ2. There it is. Air Wisconsin. Right there. So registration will be November. Let me get the aircraft here. I know it ain't Air Wisconsin, but we're gonna treat it as if it's such. Niner five, Niner three, Mike Lima. Five, Niner three, Mike Lima. I think that's a Mesa. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, KPHL, so that'd be Philadelphia International. And we don't have a picture just yet, so we'll go ahead and add that aircraft. That's five Niner three. Just want to make sure. Yep, five Niner three, Mike Lima. This will be scheduled, IFR, select aircraft, November 5903, Mike Lima, right there. This will be offline, and our flight number is 4113. So we are actually not departing for Philadelphia, we're going to Philadelphia. So we're going to departure Richmond International and Philadelphia International for our arrival. And then, uh, right there. So we're going to create the booking. Dispatch looks good. Dispatch without send brief because we already got that. Click go, and we are ready to rock and roll. So let me go ahead and get sim stall up. And there it is. Awesome. Okay, and we'll go ahead and start this. So we are ready to start the flight now. Quick little announcement before we start this flight. Which, before it loads actually. Uh, Virtual Call just released an update, version 1.2, for their CRJ pack. So they've edited a couple stuff. They edited uh, gauges. Uh, that's important to note. They also edited the aircraft.cfgs. So maybe they put in some jetway configurations or um, maybe some uh, dynamics for the physics of the aircraft. So I don't know. And they also released. Let's see, they released an edit for the .air file as well, and they also released uh, a new model for the 1000. Uh, I guess the older one had some bugs, I don't really know, I didn't fly it at all, but they patched something for the 1000, and they also added a Delta connection library for the CRJ900, which they didn't have on release. They had the NWA AirLink, but they didn't have Delta connections, so 
uh, good on them for releasing that because that's pretty awesome. Uh, so uh, this is going to be a little bit different. Some changes are going to happen, so we're about to find out. Uh, I'm pretty interested on the flight dynamics because when you take off, this aircraft kind of does rock back and forth a little bit. So uh, maybe they fix that. I don't know. So we shall find out. I just installed this scenery too for Richmond Airport. So well, I didn't just install it. I tested it out after I installed it, but this will be the first flight out of here. I don't. Even, I think these jetways work. I hope they do. <laughs> I don't like static jetways. Which we when we go into Philadelphia, we're gonna have static jetways. Uh, but that won't really matter because we don't really need it because we're going in Express. Even though Express does have those really low jetways, but I don't care. <laughs> Oh my. Okay. Okay, okay. So, first man of the business. Alright, these are the default jetways, so I don't have to worry about them being static here. See, nope. Okay, so I didn't add any jetway stuff for the CJT 200. Okay, that's fine. I gotta turn that off because APU jump was off, and I'll turn it back on again. Come on. Oh, we have to click it again. Whoops. Okay. Uh, turn that off. Off. Smoke sign. Uh, check nav. Again, show lights, logo, and wing inspection. That's a light. Um, okay. APU's on, shine down engine 2 and 1. They also add, they might have added the FMC panel, I'm not entirely sure about that. But uh, I hope they fix the uh, the don't sink, because that was pretty annoying. So I'm guessing that's what they fixed. So we're about to find out with the whole gauges thing. Um, so we're going to go ahead and request boarding. Another mirror to the sounds just sound even better. <laughs> I I just can't get over the sounds. Like it's just so Oh so great. This window. And I'm gonna go ahead and let the magic happen here. So like that. And I gotta edit this real quick, so let's get a scoot on down. There we go. Alright. So for some reason, I tried putting Wisconsin into the ATC airline, and uh, when I tried to put it in game, it wouldn't let me. So I have absolutely no idea why. Um, under ATC airline and uh, the uh, aircraft.cfg, so I have no idea why that is. So I will be saying Air Wisconsin, even though air traffic control will be calling me Eagle Flight. So just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, and we got board underway. Good. So let's go ahead and start up uh, Virtual American here. So I'll go ahead and begin the flight. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to welcome you here aboard Air Wisconsin Flight 4113 <laughs> operated by American Airlines with non-stop service to Philadelphia. Our flying time today will be approximately one hours you. minutes. Once you find your seat, please move out of the aisle and enter your row to allow I'm other passengers awful. to find their seats. Personal items can be stowed under the seat in front I of you, but larger back. items must be stowed in the overhead bins. We thank you for your cooperation, and we will be on our way shortly. Yes, we will, Cheryl. Okay, turn to the ATIS. Okay, wind calm, well that's handy dandy. Nice. Like that's below three knots. Um, I don't have any problems with takeoff. So I'm very, I'm kind of hesitant on the whole trim thing because I don't know what's going to happen. Hey, look at that! That's cool. Flight number four one one three. That puts a flight number right there. Oh my god, that's so cool. I I don't think that was there before. That is really neat. Oh my god. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, do 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 do. <laughs> I get fascinated by 
just like a lot of stuff. I get distracted too easily. I say that over and over, but I really do. <laughs> um, do, 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 do. We're saying this to 2, let's go 235. Keep under 250, under 10,000 feet here. So 235. Just to be in a little bit on the safe, safe side here. And let's go ahead and request clearance. Richmond Clearance Delivery, good afternoon. Eagle Flight 4113, ready to copy off of Clearance to Philadelphia. And it's morning. <laughs> uh, first best up. Okay, 5,000. Eagle Flight 4, oh no, sorry. <laughs> Wisconsin 4113, clear to Philadelphia Airport's file, final remaining climb at 5000, departure 126.4, squawk 5604. Eagle Flight 4113, readback is correct, contact ground on 121.9. That's my second screw up. I said I was going to say Wisconsin instead of Eagle Flight, but I said Eagle Flight. Okay. Is that our baggage? Why are you way over there? Really now? Are you going away or coming here? I don't even know where the hell it is. <laughs> well, what in the world am I seeing over there then? What in the world is that? Is that our baggage? Hold on, what is GSX doing? Baggage load in progress, I guess that's our baggage. Okay, we're gonna be waiting a little while. Okay, that sucks. Okay. So we got 5,000 in. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch this. Oh, not this one. Switch that to FMS. So our uh, waypoint is Lucille. So right after we take off, that's our waypoint. And that's lined up. Uh, go ahead and gauge the yaw dampener. Is this unclear? No, it just stays on. Okay. I'm trying to see if there would uh, change in here. Uh, I didn't see that before, so that's gotta be new. Uh, or uh, I just saw it. Hold on, I'm about to find out. Do 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 do. I'll do this one. You know, this one was like extremely laggy. No, it's always been there. I just noticed it. Okay. Well, cool. Anyway, boarding complete. What? Wait, the other one was like a covered baggage cart. What? What in the world? What am I seeing here? Yeah, who's this guy? It says baggage load complete. What? Oh, hello, MD-88 just landed. I came in from Dallas Fort Worth. Wait, so who are you? This <laughs> is baggage load complete, right? Boarding completed. Yeah, boarding completed. So who the hell are you? <laughs> what in the world? I don't even know. Okay. Two units ground. Richmond ground, good morning. Wisconsin 4113 with Sierra Rights, Axe IFR. Taxi on short runway 2 using taxiway Alpha Echo Uniform, Wisconsin 4113. Pushing back to the left here. I'm going to wait for that uh, MD 83. Oh, MD 88, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to wait for him to taxi his gate there. So we're going to be pushing back right. Okay. Just to make sure it applied with them. We're at Alpha 6. Okay, he's on the other side. We're good to push back. Flight attendants prepare doors for departure. 
That's right, Cheryl, you tell it like it is. Push back to the right. And... Beacon on. Seatbelt's not coming on. Another US Airways CRJ over there. And actually two CRJs. Look at that. We're all little CRJs over here. That's cute. Okay. What's that over in Bravo Terminal? That little blue, like, Y thing. I think that's a gate. I think it's for, like, probably to have Lindashes, is what I'm guessing. That's interesting. I wonder what's over there. It might be United Connection. United Express, not United Connection. What the hell is that? For a commute air. Gentile. Donna? Or Dar? I don't even know. I'm gonna try. Undivided. One's on There's engine two. Okay, both engines are alive. And he's at the gate. If you have the jetway attached, please be sure your seat back is too far. Taxi light coming on. And one comes. Taxi. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna set shrimp for takeoff, just to be safe. So we're gonna set it to ten. Even ten is an understatement. Well, uh, I got ten point three. Whoa, not that much. Ten point three. That's good. Cabin exit door and some exit windows are equipped with an evacuation slide. Some slides, except those open windows, may also be used as wraps. This aircraft has an escape path light in the eye. Red lights or an exit sign will indicate you have reached an exit. In an emergency evacuation, you are clear on deck behind and quickly proceed to the nearest exit. If the aircraft has a loose pressure, the panel above the seat will be on while remaining seated with your seatbelt fastened, quickly reach to the nearest mast and pull down firmly to start the flow of oxygen. I think the dynamics did change when they edited the uh, either the dot air or the aircraft CFG. I think it's the dot air um, because it took a little oomph to try to move the aircraft up when I was trying to get it aligned at the gate when it first started. So hopefully, I want to deploy spoilers like full spoilers when we land, so that'll be a good thing. <laughs> so hopefully that's fixed. Cool. Yeah, so where's someone else at? That's cool. Left. Right. Up. Down. Down. Right left. Right. Right. I don't know why it's reversed, but okay. Spoilers. Okay. We are good to go. I'll leave it on, uh flight control for now, because it actually tells me my flaps, so that's cool. It gives me flaps right here, but I don't want that. I kind of like that a little better. Alright, here we go. We are rolling.
I'm going to do something that I don't normally do and I haven't done in a stream before, but I'm going to go ahead and start playing some music. Do, 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 do. I'm going to play some merch type. Someone's coming in. Chautauqua. Five three. I don't remember. <laughs> One forty. And you don't see those anymore. That's for sure. Okay. Gotcha. Taxi sign. Well, hey, we're going around that. Whack. Oh, don't hear that. There we go. What in the world are you doing there? <laughs> well, okay. Looks like I need to edit the, uh, the airport editor here. Alright, we're gonna call Tower to try to get out of here before he gets clearance. Bridgeman Tower, good morning. Wisconsin 4113, ready for our fire departure runway 2. Oh, yeah, I cleared him. Dang it. Oh, I tried. Well, let's start runway 2, we can fly 4113. Well, we're gonna be waiting a while because there's a Delta right behind him, too. Yep, there he is. Atlanta Ridge, man, and an MB80, right? Yep. Figure. Attack was coming in from St. Louis. Oh my god, it has lights too. Oh my god, that is so cool. This is like this is freeware too. Like this looks like it's not like a professional like flight beam or FS Dream Team, but it has little lights. That is so cool. I did not expect that from this airport. Look at that. It reflects off the ground too. That is so cute. Okay. Cute little runway lights. Oh my god, <laughs> that is amazing. I don't know why I'm freaking out about that, but that is so cool. I would not expect like a freeware uh, airport like this to have that. That is super cool. Wow, that's amazing. It's just like a nice subtle little touch with this though. Like I enjoy subtle touches like that. Like that's just so cool. You need an update in the library. Oh boy. Oh my god, that's American Connection. That's not even American Eagle, that's American Connection. Oh my god, yeah, that needs an update. Oh, we got JetBlue coming in. Oh my god, we're gonna be a while. Oh. I blame the baggage cart. <laughs> Music. 
There's some good music. That's not copyrighted. Because uh, I don't want to play copyrighted music. So, we'll play this one. Jeppu might be a little bit too close, so we might get lucky. He's turning off now, so... Another one? Are you kidding me? Another two? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be waiting for a little while. Just a little while. Just have four aircraft land in front of us. But not anymore. Here comes Mr. Delta from Atlanta. Wow, we touched down right at the <laughs> I guess it's an Embraer 190, that blue. Gotta be too busy for an A320. Yeah, it's an Embraer 190. Yeah, it's like the relic cooking up. Let's go. I can go ahead and turn off the menu bar because I don't need that. I'm still getting over those lights, oh my god. It's everywhere airport add on it has them. And it's not even like HD textures or anything, it's like default. And they just like put on those little runway lights, it's so cool. <laughs> oh god. Well, he's all set. That's really good timing. <laughs> now we got a CRJ200 after this. God, they're just coming in one by one. Oh no, he's going around? What? He had plenty of time. Uh, uh, maybe not perfect time, I guess. Oh well. Okay. Oh, we got it's just a CRJ200 left. He's way, he's way out there. Yeah, he's going to clear the land. So, yellow. It's like so minimal and they reflect off the ground. It's just like, again, the little details. It just gets to me, like, that's just really cool. I love that. I absolutely love that. <laughs> Come on, buddy. From Charlotte. That was my flight last time, but it was a CRJ 900, not a 200. And it was with PSA, not here, Wisconsin, too. Did he take my spot that ERJ? I think he did. No, he sparked over at Bravo. I don't know why. He did on correct parking gates. It seemed like all American was going to uh, Alpha Terminal. They went to Bravo. Here it comes. Short final now.
Taxi Way 2. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I cannot stop about that. Come on, guy. Come on. Expedite out, please. I'd like to get out of here today before another aircraft decides to come landing. Godly. There he goes. Okay, for takeoff runway 2, Wisconsin 4113. Let's go ahead and turn, turn strobe on, landing lights, and set flaps to 2. 8 degrees. Okay, so 2 notches of flaps is 8 degrees. Cool. Good to know. Alright, let's see how the takeoff is. Let's see if we have to buck back and forth again. So, this is a brand new update, so we're about to find out. Hopefully, all will be good. I'm hoping. Go ahead. All lined up for the runway. Ready, set, throttle up. Here we go. Forth, look at that gear coming up. They fixed it. Hallelujah. All right, engage an autopilot and headlock. Bring down that speed, speed lock, altitude, vertical speed, and set that to 700, 1700 feet per minute. And we are good to go. Lights coming off, landing lights, taxi lights, and shutting down APU and APU gen. All right, that was a good takeoff. A little bit too early on that rotate, but uh, that was pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that patch. Enough bucking around with the aircraft when you take off. That's awesome. Going to 126.4, Eagle Flight 4113. Did it again. Going to 126.4, Wisconsin 4113. Good day. Potomac Departure. Good morning. Wisconsin 4113 is coming through 1,600 for 5,000. Two nine nine or two checked, and that's seventeen hundred feet. Right, good, good, good. I go get rid of that. Uh, turn left, ten zero five zero. Proceed on course. Climb ten five thousand. Wisconsin four one one three. And let's go to stat here. Yeah, APU is off. Uh, electrical. Okay, APU turns off. Yep, confirmed. Do, 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 do. But I don't feel for the remainder of the flight. Uh, and if ice ever becomes a problem, which it really shouldn't, because we're just going to be at 17,000 feet, it may. I don't really think so. Because uh, winds are calm, I mean, it shouldn't be too, too bad. So, uh, it shouldn't be a problem. But if it does, usually it's just engine and pedo, so that's not biggie. Bye bye, Richmond. Philadelphia, here we come. Now, I did get the uh, Sun Sky Philadelphia scenery, so uh, it'll look pretty nice on approach. Pretty darn nice. So, yeah, that airport add on for Richmond ain't bad. That got it off of uh, Riku.com. It's a French website, I think. But, uh, yeah, it's freeware, and it's pretty good. I was really impressed with those. Uh, Runway lights for the taxiways. I, was, I don't know why that impressed me so much, but just did. So. Because I was not expecting that at all, so. That was pretty good. Climate Tame 13000, Wisconsin 4113. 
and we'll go ahead and put that vertical speed in. And it looks like speed seems to be doing a lot better. It seems to be going like 5 over instead of like 15 over or 10 over. So that's good. That's good. So this update seems to be pretty good. So I'm happy with that. Happy with that. The jetways an update that I kind of like to see, but to be honest, it's really not necessary, to be honest. Like, that bucking back and forth, yeah, they need to be fixed, and, well, when we land, we're going to find out if that Don't Sink guy is going to be uh, playing or not. But, uh, those are two big ones that need to be fixed, and, well, so far, one of them's been fixed, so, we'll see if the Don't Sink guy comes back to haunt us. Hopefully not, but... Other than that, pretty good update. I am rather impressed. Alright, so I guess we're just cruising. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and start some music, so I gotta keep some music first of all. Um, ba -ba 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 -bum 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 -bum. Gotta find some tracks here. Uh, I would go Chronicle, but that's too. Mm, yeah. I'm gonna go. Jupiter's a good album, but I kind of played it recently. Uh, I didn't play Star Child in a while. I'll yeah, I'll play Star Child. So. Well, this is 2.55 for Wisconsin 4113. Good day. Alright, let's bring up the speed. Let's go 330. Washington Center, good morning. Wisconsin 413 is at 9,900. Climbing 13,000. Wow, 9,900. Alrighty. Cinematic mode, but uh, right now we're at we're almost at 1300 feet. So. Also, I don't know if we fix the altitude of Florida. Maybe it's supposed to be like that, I don't know. Usually it's a thousand feet, not 200 feet. Where it's fine. 
Wisconsin 4113. Wisconsin 40,000. One enter Wisconsin 413 today. Uh oh. You know what that is. Alright, 330 was a little bit too much, still going over.
2.55, Wisconsin 4013 today. Washington Center, good morning, Wisconsin 413 with you, 17,000. Left heading 010 to send maintain 9000. Inspect vector is ILS or now left approach. Wisconsin 413. Speed going. Oh, come on now. Gamma. Oh. There we go. It wasn't looking at one of the flights. Well, it was engaged.
Wisconsin, 4113, have the traffic. Zero, Wisconsin four one one three. Wisconsin 4113, good day. Dover Approach, good afternoon. Wisconsin 413 is out of 10,900 for 9,000. Yeah, let's slow that down. Two two zero.
Good afternoon, Wisconsin 413 with you, 9000. Wisconsin 4113. Let's Vertical speeds and negative 1700. Let's go ahead on the spoilers. Springs to uh, Denver. That's going to be a short flight as well. I think that's going to be short. Same aircraft. A uh, different airline. Still pretty short line. Short flight. I don't like that. Pain 360, Wisconsin 4113. Wisconsin 4113, have the Papadia Dash 8 in sight. Spoilers. 
four two one four. Is that him? I think it is. Yeah, it is. So we're right next to him, so we should be getting pretty close here. He's going in on runway nine or left, and I think I see the airport. So we're going to be shortly behind him on his uh, vector into uh, approach. I don't know what airport this is. Now, there's an airplane right there. Looks like it's taking off. Hey, you can see our shadow. Cool. That's funny, you know, he just took off. Wisconsin 4113 at the Twin Cessna 402 in sight. It's right there. Torrain 060, climb maintain 2100, cleared outline, throwing down left approach, maintain 2100, toast out of child, 118.5, equal flight 4113, good day. Philadelphia Tower, good afternoon, Wisconsin 4113 is 20 miles southwest inbound, outline, throwing down left approach. General went out of left, Wisconsin Engaging autopilot, I have control of the aircraft. Disengaging speed, I have control of the throttle quadrants. Can we press on our right? Clearance the line granted, gear down. Alright, let's get some. Let's 
throttle in there, but I didn't see it. Ooh, yeah. Don't we don't want to sink right now. Come don't on. Sink. Throttle, throttle, throttle. Trim, 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 trim. Don't sink. Okay. It's don't starting sink. to rock me back and forth. Maybe I just got too used to it. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'm doing. Don't Come sink. on, trim, trim, trim. Don't sink. Trim, trim, trim. It's not trimming for me. Come on now. Don't do this now. There we go. Anyways, the land rolling on our left, Wisconsin 413. 400. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Check for the de-icing pad. Alright, now you start trimming down here. <laughs> something. It's always something. Why are we descending? One hundred. Yeah. One hundred. Ay ay ay. I think it's bucking back and forth worse than uh before the patch. Oh my god. Takeoff was good, but landing needs some fixing. Good god. Yeah, it's bucking back and forth. I'm going to deploy spoilers. 30, 20, 10. Oh my god, this is just crazy. Okay, I'm going around. Going around. Oh my god, that was just unstable. Gear up. Flaps up. Jeez, Lou. Yeah, we're going around. That was totally unstable. I am not landing in that. But uh, the entire Wisconsin 4113 is going missed. Alright, speed hold. Uh, runway heading set. One, two, three. One two four point three five for your flight for Wisconsin four one three. Yeah. Philadelphia approach Wisconsin four one one three is missed approach at Philadelphia. Oh, that was crazy. Let me get. To a zero climb, it's 83,000. Spec vectors out last for we now lost approach. It, Wisconsin 4113. This guy's got too much approach. Turn off 4-8 for Eagle Flop, for Wisconsin, 4-1-1-3, good day. I gotta learn how to do that. Terrible. Terrible. Fed up here, approach, good afternoon, Wisconsin, 4-1-1-3, with you. Okay, 
he's right behind me. Wait, he has some feeling. Twelve o'clock, yeah, I see him. Wisconsin four one one three traffic it's like. What does it mean here? I think that's him.
hold on. That's supposed to be lining me up for only one seven? What in the world? <laughs> That's like the other side of the airport. Well, not really, but it's on the other end of runway nine or left. What was that two seven? What the heck? Hold on. KPHL ILS one seven Alpha Romeo Delta. Okay, good. He's gonna back from here. Dorian one three zero Wisconsin four one one three. Oh, that's speed. I don't want to change speed. Thank you very much. Oh, I have Hold on here. Let me look at the charts. ILS runway one seven. ARD, okay, so ARD is supposed to be like. Uh, I should have gone with PTW. Oh. Because, yeah, I should have gone with PTW. I mean, yeah. PTW is practically straight in, and ARD is pretty much base of ILS. Oh, I'm not going to change it. I'm just going to go with this. I'm already here. Oh, my God. <laughs> this one. Okay, and... Okay, yeah. Yeah, we'll roll. We'll roll with this. Okay, so we gotta follow uh, Alpha Romeo Delta transition, and then we're pretty practically we gotta make sharp turn. So let's go ahead and start heading to Philadelphia. So we're gonna go two seven zero because it's practically perpendicular. Romeo West Side is practically perpendicular, so. Let me just look at the chart real quick. Uh, that's heading 254, so that's what we're going to put in. So, 254 degrees. Directly from the thing, so. Uh, cleared ILS runway 17 approach via Alpha Romeo Delta transition. Maintain 2000 till established out on 118.5. Wisconsin, 4113. Good day. And, uh, once we start getting onto base here, uh, then I'll call it for the tower. All right, so Alpha Romeo Delta, and then we are pretty much cutting base here from Alpha Romeo Delta. We need a little bit, but uh, this is fine. Uh, so right now we're pretty much making base for Long One Seven, and then we're gonna turn left. I should have gone with Papa uh, Tango Whiskey, which is up there uh, in the uh, northeast part of my GPS. I should have gone with that. But I didn't, and I was a big dumb dumb, and I didn't like that. So, we well, went all the way over here instead. That's okay, it gives me time to prep, I guess. Uh, so, we'll go ahead and, uh, yeah, we'll start to call them up right now. And they'll just tell us, make left base, runway 17. So, let's go ahead and do that. So we're inbound from the Alpha Romeo Delta transition for ILS Romeo 17 at Philadelphia. Oh my god. Philadelphia Tower, good afternoon. Wisconsin 413 is 190 miles north inbound. ILS Romeo 17 approach. 
Nick Hoffman 23, welcome to the stream. Yes, this plane is an add-on. This is Virtual Coal CRJ pack. This is they have the uh, 200, 700, 900, and 1,000. Flash right in. I'm making base. Why are you telling me to flash right in? Well, I guess it's not perfect. I had to grease it still. Jeez, a little. Flash Air 117, Wisconsin 4113. There's Philadelphia, and that should be the airport over there. Uh, ooh, we gotta watch out for those towers there. Uh, right over there. There's Philadelphia Airport. So, let's go a little bit over. We kind of want to start turning at, what was that, NDB? India, November Gulf. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and the bees were extinct. The world. Yeah, the uh, ta lane lights work, taxi lights work, and they're separable. So, it's just the taxi lights. I turn the lane lights. And I can get out the taxi lights. So, it's pretty nice. I don't know why, but that's very, I'm very finicky about that, because sometimes developers, low-end developers, like to combine the taxi lights and landing lights, and I really, really hate that. That just irks me so bad, I don't know. So, we're going to go ahead and turn into 117 here. So, heading 170, do we have an, uh, an accurate heading of that? Okay, accurate heading is 169 or so, we're going to put that instead. Alright. And there's the runway. Okay. So we're on my site. Lights are confirmed on. APU gen is on. And APU is on standby. And here we go. Um, right. Let's try this again. So we were misapproached from way 9 or left. So now we're coming in from way 9 or. No, 1 7. is mine. I'm going to go ahead and disengage all throttle as well. Alright, let's see if I can better manage the trim this time. Trim is always key with these uh, regional jets, whether it's a CRJ or ERJ. Oh my god. Oh, we got an aircraft in front of us, I think. Shoot, Wisconsin 3684, coming from Rochester, I think, is in front of us. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting some flaps and spoilers just to kind of slow us down a little bit. So flaps two, uh, yeah, flaps one. The aircraft has some really good sounds too, especially uh, when starting up and spooling down. Okay, we may have to perform a maneuver. Have a maneuver. Um, Guy, we're like literally right on his ass. Alright, same flaps two. And he's got clearance in him. So here's what's probably gonna inevitably end up happening. Alright, so if we do perform maneuver, we are turning left. Because that is departing out traffic. Really bad. Okay, flaps three. Don't see. So I'm gonna get my clearance to land. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. 360 to the left. Here we go. Go ahead to land runway 17, Wisconsin 4113. Just trying to get myself separated from that CRJ in front of us. Okay, so we're going 
constant rate of turn, constant altitude, making sure we're not, we want to stay in there, we don't want to do plus or minus 300 feet, oh, that's 300 right there, yeah. Oh, there's a city. Hello. Okay, let's keep going. Alright, let's constantly check for pollution avoidance, because I definitely don't want to collide with a building or a tower. And, uh, we're clear on the left. So, I don't have anybody right seat to check, but, yeah, I'm just seeing this guy. Don't see. It's pointing a little hard there. I want to climb a bit. I don't like being as close to these buildings. Okay, he's touched down, and we can see some way. Clear the runway. Okay, good. I'm trying to trim it up so I can... This aircraft can practically by, fly itself without me touching the joystick. There's a runway. Alright. So that was a 360. And let's go ahead and put some more flaps in here. So we are number one, so these guys have got to go around, and I really don't want to collide with them. Um, so let's go full flaps. Alright, clearance to land granted already, so we're going to go here again. 400. Don't sink. Don't sink. 300. Don't sink. I gotta get some altitude in there. I'm just saying way sink. too quickly. Don't sink. Don't sink. Alright. The flight dynamics seem to be different Don't after sink. the update, so I still gotta get used to this. Don't sink. Don't sink. 200. This is terrible. <laughs> this is terrible. Oh my god, I'm gonna... Am I gonna end up going underneath these guys? Wow, that is risky. It's an Embraer and a De Havilland Dash 8. I'm going right underneath. Alright, let me try to... This is really dangerous. This is extremely dangerous. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, they're going around. Good, good, good. 40. 40. Don't sink. 30. 30. Why are you going up? The 20. Ah, 10. Stop it. 10. Okay, we're down. We're down. We're down. Spoilers reverse. Ooh, don't run off the runway. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Okay. I almost went around there. Okay, we stuck it. We lived. What was that landing rate? Negative 474 feet per minute. It's doable. Alright, that's under 500. Jeez. This was a very interesting approach. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, that was not stress inducing at all. No, that was, I was very calm during that. Alright, flaps coming up. Oh my god. I gotta practice some more with that because that approach was. Oh my god. Okay. Lane lights coming off, stroke coming off. Oh my god, my car is racing. Alright, starting up APU. Oh my god. 121.65 for Wisconsin, 4113. Okay. Bit up ground, good afternoon. Wisconsin, 4113, taxi to the gate. 
Oh my god. That was intense. That <laughs> was really intense. Alright, oh, good. Put on us next press like we're supposed to. Excellent. Passing gate from Oxford City, using taxiway Echo, Sierra, runway 17, Sierra, Delta Hotel, Wisconsin, 4113. Oops, I turned off from there. Actually, it would have just been a whole lot easier. Jesus. Alright, yeah, I gotta do some more practice with this aircraft because they definitely changed something with this aircraft and it is pretty tricky to, uh, to land now. So, I almost went around twice because of it. Wow, that was more difficult than it needed to be. Jeez. Oh, position, Eagle Flight, Wisconsin 4113. Tell me that every single time because you're going to be really annoying. <laughs> Foxtrot, what was it? Foxtrot 6. Wow, I was. Jeez. It's trying to balance between the trim and the throttle. And you try to balance that because the trim changes when you adjust the throttle. It's oh my god! It's like hard to manage. It really is. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cross because the freaking default ATC will just have me wait there for days. Where the heck's that Embraer going? Roger, Wisconsin, 4113. That was actually a little legit. Are going to try We're just going over there. Okay, there. Foxtrot 6, right. Okay. Gate. Foxtrot 6. It has a jetway, but we don't need it. Handled by UPS. What? <laughs> what? What in the world? Okay. Okay. Alright, so next flight should be interesting. So, next flight. Whoa! Oh, he's laying right there. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so next flight will be SkyWest CRJ200 from Colorado Springs to Denver. So that would be a really short flight, but I probably need some more practice with this aircraft. So, let's see how she is. Because uh, that landing was uh, horrifying. It could be that it's because it's Philly and it's around Newark and. Uh, JFK and LaGuardia, but to be honest, they're kind of far away, so uh, I don't really know. I think it's because of the whole throttle and uh, trim thing, so I gotta get used to that, gotta get adjusted. Uh, that's something you gotta do with every airplane, to be honest. I mean, it took me like forever to learn the TFDI 717, 
it's the same thing with every aircraft, but when they do an update and a whole dynamic change, you gotta get used to that, so that's just something I gotta keep training, practicing on, and hopefully by then, within a couple days, I'll be pretty good at it, so. Yeah, that's the plan. Foxtrot 6, here we are. through disarm slides. So we're going to leave on that.
Thank you. 